in case I smell it. I mean, I know people say that and lie. Oh, and it's wet with tomato juice. None of your beeswax. Oh, hey guys, didn't see you there. Just got home from dance. So, I just got home from dance. Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel or to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on this video. Here I have my massive big bag. And today what we're going to be doing is a what's in my bag video. So I've never actually done one of these. I always watch videos like this because I love to see inside people's bags, as weird as that is. But today isn't just any bag. It's what's inside my full-time dance bag. Look at this chocker blocker If you're liking this video so far, even though you haven't really met me yet, subscribe. <laughs> you don't have to, but if you want to. That would really support me, so thanks. And if you don't already know, which most of you probably don't, I study full-time dance. I study an advanced diploma of performing arts. And with that comes a very, very, very big bag. All right, so at the moment, my bag is chock-a-block. This is what I brought today. It's currently Monday. But let's get right on into it. So the first thing that's in my bag is my wallet. I keep my Mimco wallet. I take it with me everywhere. Thanks, Angel, for buying me that for my birthday. Perfect. Next thing I have is my water bottle. This is the water bottle I use. It's very damaged. Speaking of water, drink H2O, kids. She's a thirsty gal. Yeah, and then I usually have my lunchbox, which I unpacked today, but that goes right on top. And then... Let's get to the most important thing. I bring lots of different clothes to full time. So I have about three classes each day, usually the ballet, musical theater, hip hop, all that jazz, singing, you, you, you never really know. I mean, we have a timetable, but sometimes things are just thrown at you. So I bring quite a number of different options of clothes. So today I had ballet. So of course, what did I bring? I brought my black, crossover just like crosses over and keeps you warm because you need to wear tight stuff for ballet and i also bring a ballet skirt sometimes i don't wear this but if i'm feeling like a little frisky and want to wear a ballet skirt i brought that i bring that just in case just for a little cover up of course i bring a leotard today i brought this nice black leotard it literally just looks like that from the front and then the back is low cut and a little bit lacy it's a little bit frisky i have lots of different leotards but that's just the one i went for today i went all black today how many times did i just say today in that sentence jesus and then of course can't forget the belly stockings i rolled them up really nice belly stockings super fun you gotta be prepared you know and then i always just keep in my bag in case we have like a musical theater class thrown at us or something i always bring my high-waisted undies these are from city beach they're literally amazing so i just brought these just to be extra prepared because something that our course teaches us is to be prepared for everything so that's what i did today and then also just some fishnets just to look sassy and cute i usually have black or tan Oh, I also have black ones. Oh, I'm even more prepared. How exciting. And now let's head on to the main component. So this is my shoe bag. Look how big it is. It's bigger than my head. So I have a locker at my dance studio. So I usually leave all of my shoes there. But if I'm dancing on the weekend or I have an audition or something, this is the shoe bag that I bring in this bag everywhere I go. It's got like every shoe I use at the moment. So yeah, I've got my tap shoes. Rat a tat tat. And then I also have my tan chorus heels. These bad boys, life changing, so dancers, can't live without. For those people who don't dance, yes, we dance in these for like from eight, what time do you start? From like nine to three. Feet are hashtag strong. So yeah, I bring my tan ones just in case I feel like wearing my tan fishnets. And then I have black chorus heels as well, just to be so prepared, you know, because you don't want to wear the wrong kind of shoe and cut off your leg, you know, it's all about presentation. So yeah, got my black, my black babies there as well. And then I also just bring my little jazz shoes if that's what you call them some people call them a jazz boot jazz slide yeah i call them jazz shoes 
or flats. I don't, I, I don't know. These are my shoes. My, I'm a size six. Like my foot is tiny. Oh, and then can't forget the ballet shoes. These are so gross. Ill. My little ballet flats in case we need to do a little ballet number or something like that. So that is my shoe bag. My shoe bag. Guys, you like my nails? How pretty are they? Oh my gosh. I love getting my nails done. I literally can't even deal with that nails especially washing your hair oh my god one time i got my acrylics off and washing my hair i was like Ugh, yuck skin on my scalp no 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 no. thank you so yeah i went and got them done again hey <laughs> look at that look at how pretty they are all right moving on along i've got my umbrella because you can never the weather is just crazy right now. So I have this bad boy with me everywhere I go. And then I have toothpicks in my bag because I always get food stuck in my teeth. Like, and it is disgusting when you have to talk to people and you just have food in your teeth and you're just like trying to shove your nail in like, oh yeah, sorry, hold up. No. Gal, I'm so prepared. I've got these bad boys. Oh, here I have my little necessities bag. I call this my necessities bag. There's really not a lot in it. We've got some Panadol because we always need that. Never know what's gonna happen. I've got quite a number of pens. Don't ask me why, but they're always handy to have. And then I have a screwdriver in case I need to tighten the screws in my tap shoes. That's helpful for tap. And then I have this red lipstick from Sports Girl, which I never use. I actually, look, it's fresh. It's literally fresh, but I just keep that in there. Red lipstick I always use for like musical theater classes and just in general, like it, I always feel put together when I put my red lipstick on. I use this NARS red lipstick called Star Woman. Oh my God. Anyway, just believe me. Literally life-changing. It looks so damn good on. And then I also have this Lily Mae Mac collection lipstick. And it's just like a neutral brown in case I'm feeling that that day. So yeah, that's my little necessities bag. And it's actually so helpful. Bringing this around, I never actually realized how much I need red lipstick. So that's crazy. Okay, now this is one that I really can't live without. This is my little makeup bag. Now this is my actual necessities bag, especially for dance. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little Chanel bag. I've had this for literally years. It's a little bit dirty. I could probably invest in a new kind of kit, but I'm kind of happy with what I have. You know when you have something for so long, you're so used to it that getting a new thing kind of scares you? Like that's me. So the first little pocket, we've got a little zip. First of all, we have some Telfast because you always need that. I'm allergic to literally everything. So that's really helpful for ballet and as being a dancer, you're always tying up your hair always changing hairstyles. So I have a whole heap of hair ties in here. I also have my little hair net for ballet when I do my hair in a nice bun. Sometimes I don't do my hair in a very nice, tight, slick bun. I kind of just like, you know, the twist and stick a few pins in. But when I do want to look really pretty, I put a little bun net in. But yeah, so hair ties. Bun net. In here, I've also got some bun pins. These are the wide bun pins. I love using them. I know a lot of people like these ones, which I have also. Lady Jane, literally the best pins. Yeah, they're really massive and they hold so much hair. So that's great. And then I have these eye drops because I wear contact lenses and sometimes my eyes get really dry. They're the ones I use. They have, I don't know what that is. It definitely leaked and then dried. Sorry about it. But these are the eye drops that I use. They're actually really good and they're safe for contact lenses. And then, oh shit. Sorry, so for my profanity, you guys. Just on top of that, I just have some tampons because honestly, you can never be too prepared. I have so many in here. I actually only have three. And now onto the second one. So first of all, band-aids because shoes, oh, of course it all falls out. Being a dancer, your feet are always sore and I just get blisters so easily. So I've got a little pack of band-aids in there. I've got some hairspray, a mini hairspray because I'm always changing my hair. I use Di Lorenzo Elements Granite Stronghold Hair Lacquer. You literally just put like a little shh, and your hair is rock solid, so that's good. This has lasted me a couple of years, not lying. There's this much left, like not much at all. So yeah, that proves how much I love it. Then I have a hairbrush, cause you know, you gotta brush out those curls. Oh, and then I have these bad boys, these advanced band-aid cushions for bad blisters. You know when you get those bad ones and you just need something? So I 
use them as well. This bag comes with me pretty much everywhere as well, not always just dance. All right, and then I've got this little packet of clear hair ties. Most of them are loom bands, I'm not lying to you. But yeah, I just use them if I'm gonna braid my hair and I do that, you know that hairstyle where it goes like, down and around you tie it up and then let your hair down I use that for that I've got myself some makeup wipes I use these Neutrogena they're really good for your skin makeup remover cleansing towelettes I use them mainly for my lipstick I have some more hair ties cause your gal is prepared and then I just have some hand sanitizer that I keep with me. Just some palm olive, Japanese, cherry blossom. Always got to carry that hand sunny because uh -huh, COVID. And yeah, just to stay safe and sanitized. And then in here, I also have some Hydrolite Strawberry Kiwi Electrolyte Tablets. So if I'm ever getting a little bit tired and run down, I just chuck one of those bad boys in my drink and I'm good to go. Did anyone see that? Shit. I'm literally covered in pink. Oh no. Guys, these pants are going in the wash tonight. That just literally went everywhere. But yeah, so I used that. And then also I just have this little Missy perfume spray in case I smell like shit. I'm kidding. Oh my god. Oh my god. I do, I carry this around just to smell nice. Smells really, oh I love that. I've, I know what this smells like but I haven't smelled it in a while. And that's what's in that. Moving on along, I have my pencil case. This is my pencil case. It's got little bees on it, super cute. Got a couple of highlighters just to make my work and notes look pretty. And literally every color pen possible and a couple of pencils, a sharpener and a rubber. Love that. And then this is where my course comes into play. So these notebooks are my life. Oh my gosh, I just keep my notebooks in there. Basically study this every night. I always study for about an hour every night before I do whatever. I, mean, I know people say that and lie. Oh, wow, that was so abrupt and rude. Sorry about that. But I know like when you're in high school, you're like, I study every night. I actually do study every night because I love what I do and I love training and getting to learn and discover new things. So I actually allocate like half an hour to an hour pretty much each night to study. And this is what I study. So this first book is just my notes for literally every subject. I love these kind of notepads when they've got the dividers. I've got so many notes. Well, this is a lot for like for dance. Um, I'm not gonna let you read it because none of your beeswax. But yeah, these are just notes, choreography for acting, monologues, some scripts and stuff like that that I need to memorize. Pretty much everything, this is my holy grail. When I graduate, I'm gonna be reading this like before every audition. Stuff about cabaret, tap dancing, all of our different lectures that we've had. Look at those notes, guys. I tell you she studies. You guys aren't really here for that. You aren't here to hear about my course. But yeah, so that's what's in that note book I bring that with me everywhere and then this notebook is just for sheet music and it's wet with tomato juice I had tomatoes today guys but yeah this is my other folder and I just have sheet music super fun for my repertoire and stuff like that and then this bad boy is my everyday folder. I bring this every day it's basically just got my timetable like assessment things more sheet music of stuff that we're currently studying oh my god you guys are probably so bored with this but um yeah just scripts more scripts songs different songs um monologues and stuff like that and then at the back is just stuff so that we usually don't need but i bring just to be prepared but lovely yeah so that's what's in there and i also have like little tabs and stuff like that i need to make some more but yeah love that so that's what's in there. And then I have this notepad, which I'm obsessed with. It says, hold on, let me overthink this. And this just has like random ass notes. I bring this everywhere. It's got like stuff about 
literally everything stuff for youtube stuff i gotta remember some manifestation and stuff like that manifestations and journaling and stuff like that yeah that is everything that i have in my dance bag this video is actually requested so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting thanks for clicking on this video but if you are interested feel free to comment down below or follow my instagram yeah i hope you guys liked this video if you did please give it a thumbs up i will see you next week bye